Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. My name is Lucy Sue, and I'm the product manager for libraries. Today I'll be walking you through our poster for how our precision variant library technology allows for focused screening. There are many definitions for combinatorial variant libraries and mutant libraries, but for the purpose of this presentation, a combinatorial variant library is a library where there are multiple mutations if we introduce a single wild type sequence. Combinatorial variant libraries accelerate the exploration of a large variant space in antibody engineering, pathway engineering, and protein engineering. Traditional library fabrication methods such as NNK and trimers can introduce premature stop codons or redundant codons, leading to poor control over diversity and an uneven amino acid distribution. Twist Biosciences' silicon-based DNA synthesis platform enables precise synthesis of high-diversity domain libraries at user-defined ratios and without the incorporation of unwanted motifs. We highlight Twist Biosciences' ability to construct complex, high diversity libraries at confined regions and introduce technology advancements that enable construction of synthetic DNA libraries with diversity scattered across the length of the construct. We demonstrate the precision of this technology through next generation DNA sequencing validation. The technology provides a powerful solution for focusing libraries to precisely interrogate the variant space and, enable, and enables users to make iterative designs that hone in on the target. Our platform enables precise control of a combinatorial diversity by synthesizing each variant base by base. Since each variant is designed in silico, unwanted motifs can be discarded before synthesis and unwanted restriction sites can be avoided. We can incorporate your custom codon usage table into our variant design as well. We are also able to fabricate libraries of length variation in a single build and seamlessly incorporate it into multiple germline scaffolds. I'll be going over the different types of combinatorial libraries that we offer. Let's start off with the binary substitution libraries. This, with this type of library, um, you tend to alternate between the single variant amino acid and a wild type amino acid at each position. This type of library can be used for the humanization of antibodies, which minimizes immunogenicity risk and maximizes therapeutic potential. The x-axis of the bar graph shows the amino acid position number relative to the open reading frame as well as the expected versus observed amino acid frequencies. As you can see, our libraries are able to very closely match the requested amino acid frequency. Next, we have our high diversity uniform ratio library. This library enables you to comprehensively sample the combinatorial diversity in a CDR. This type of library is very common for CDR3 of the heavy chain and can be designed in a way that enables modular assembly into multiple frameworks. The CDRH3 is a highly diverse and is largely responsible for the diversity among antibody structure and is critical for antigen binding. The ability to capture the diversity of this high diversity cassette enables a comprehensive interrogation of the vast variant space. With our ratio libraries, the frequency of each amino acid can be individually defined. Our wild type ratio bias libraries are the libraries where the diversity of each position is biased towards the wild type amino acid in order to limit the complexity at each variant position. Our library technology platform can fabricate libraries with amino acid frequencies as low as 1%. This gives the user complete control to fully customize the library composition in a way that meets their needs. The wild type bias ratio library mimics the traditional approach of controlled ratio distribution to limit the number of mutations introduced to a wild type sequence in order to avoid potential loss of function. By limiting the number of mutations away from the wild type, the user is looking for single, double, and triple mutations. An alternative approach to this is Twist's Precision Variant Library, which provides an alternative approach in which all the single, doubles, and tripling mutations can be individually synthesized and incorporated into each variant region or domain. Here we have data on our length variation libraries. This type of library allows users to explore the length profile of the variant cassettes, for example, the CRH3, in order, in order to identify sequences that will improve binding specificity. The CDRH3 plays an important role in antigen recognition and is a region of the highest overall sequence and length diversity. You can explore the structural flexibility of the CDRH3 in a manner that mimics the repertoire. For this library that we've built, the D segment of the CDRH3 of this library has length variation, has a length variation profile ranging from 2 to 14 amino acids long at user-defined ratios. 
instead of building 13 separate libraries and then pulling it to obtain the desired length profile and the domain composition, Twist's proprietary silicon-based platform leverages massively parallel oligosynthesis to produce libraries at precisely controlled ratios and user-defined compositions to build it as one high-diversity library. As you can see, we are able to very closely match the requested length profile, which ranges from 0.8% to 13.5%. In addition to that, the length variation domain can be seamlessly incorporated into multiple frameworks. On the top right side of the poster, you'll see a bar graph with four different color bars. Here, each color represents a different framework. The x-axis represents the different lengths, and the y-axis represents the ratio at which each length is observed. The data shows even incorporation of the different lengths domains into the four frameworks. This enables a user to create a highly diverse and uniform discovery library that goes beyond a single framework. Next, we have our spread out low diversity libraries. So enzyme evolution and protein engineering has become a widely used strategy for the development of enzymes with improved functions such as high specificity, thermal stability, and performance. It is used in metabolic engineering and, and industrial biocatalysis to improve product yields and to reduce losses to side products. Our spread out low diversity libraries provide a quick and precise tool for mapping protein sequences to function to explore the complex relationship between the protein and its environment. DNA shuffling has been used in numerous studies to generate improved protein variants more efficiently than what can be achieved by standard screening methods alone. Our spread out low diversity library uses twist technology and the principle of shuffling to allow our customers to efficiently recombine variants to reduce screening effort and resources. But unlike DNA shuffling, these libraries with low diversity regions can include up to 10 to 8 variants total and ensure the observation of the desired combinations of proximal mutations, surpassing libraries gener generated by DNA shuffling through random fragmentation and assembly alone. Our fabrication technology allows for exploration of a larger variant space by creating similar libraries in multiple germline scaffolds or by mixing and matching multiple scaffolds with diversity cassettes. Twist Biosciences DNA technology can be applied to non-human antibody scaffolds as well to accelerate the discovery of novel small protein therapeutics with controlled user-defined combinatorial libraries. Our in silico design platform comes with several technology benefits. Certain amino acid motifs can result in complications during screening. For example, high levels of hydrophobicity, particularly in the in the highly variable CDR regions have repeatedly been implicated in ag aggregation, viscosity, and polyspecificity. Patches of positive and negative charges in the CDRs have been linked to high rates of clearance and poor expression levels. Our design platform can help you reduce and, and avoid these unwanted motifs. So instead of avoiding certain amino acids in order to avoid the introduction of these motifs during your design, our design pipeline will screen for the undes undesirable motifs and remove them prior to synthesis. This reduces the work that a user needs to allocate in, in their designing their library. Next, we have library scale up. Since cloning requires a significant amount of insert and cloning efficiency can sometimes be problematic, the library can be scaled up to 50 micrograms. Every library is scaled up using more starting material with minimal amplification to avoid the introduction of bias. Finally, every library that's built at TWIS is NGS verified to ensure the full diversity incorporation and uniform distribution of variants, so you know exactly what you're screening. Therefore, negative screening results can be used to enable iterative exploration of the antibody and protein sequence space. I hope that I've been able to show you how we've taken our silicon-based DNA synthesis platform and applied that technology into fabricating highly complex libraries without unwanted bias and loss of complexity. Our platform enables precise control of a combinatorial diversity by synthesizing each variant base by base. And because each variant is designed in silico, unwanted motifs can be discarded before synthesis and unwanted restriction sites can be avoided. We can incorporate your custom codon usage table into our variant design and fabricate libraries with length variation in a single build and seamlessly incorporate it into multiple germline scaffolds. Twist Biosciences, a massively parallel DNA synthesis platform combined with advanced molecular biology technologies for library construction, allows you to fully customize the library to focus your screens and explore the variant space in a comprehensive manner. 
A copy of our poster can be downloaded from our website. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at twistbioscience.com or at library at twistbioscience. Thank you.